For traditional Chinese medicines, we use scales to measure the herbs. Traditionally, Chinese pharmacies use the traditional Chinese balance scale to weight. But in modern clinics, they use digital scales. For this kinds of balance scale, one is for measuring the grams, and the other are for measuring the qi, and also the jin. This scale is for measuring grams. You can see this steel yard is made of ivory and this kind of weight and the plate is made of brass or copper and stone materials. Okay, you can see there are three groups one, two and three. And there are marking lines. For the first line it is for measuring zero to fifty gram and we use the first group. When you roll this steel rod, you can see the second line. It's starting from 50 gram to 200 gram. And then we use the second line. When you roll the steel rod, and you see, it's starting from 200 grams to 500 grams. And this time we will use the third line. When looking details, for the first line, you can see it's starting from zero, and then each marking line represents to one gram, and so zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. And so for the second line, it's starting from fifty. And each marking line represents to 2 gram. And so this 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 150, and 200. And for the third line, it's starting from 200. And each marking line represents to 10 gram. So 200, 210. 250, 300, 400, and then 500. And so for this balance scale, it can measure from 0 gram to 500 grams. We use our right hand to pick up the rope and also 
to grab the skirts to the plates. And then we use the left hand to adjust this counterweight. In order to check whether this scale is normal in function, and then we pick up the first group, and then we adjust this counterweight to zero. When you see that this pointer is pointing to the tip, that means this weight is equal to this marking. That means it is in zero gram. When we used to measure the herbs, we put the herbs on the plate, and then we adjust this until the pointer is pointing to the tip. See, this is 17 gram, and so this pointer is pointing to the tip, and so this herb is 17 gram. These are the herb grinder crusher. They can be made of stone, brass, or wood. This is the pestle. This is the mortar. And this is the top cover to prevent the herbs coming out when you are crushing. It is used for dry herbs, for crushing, for grinding, or for mixing. This is useful for herbal powder making or for crushing the herbs that have a strong texture like the shells or for some herbs that have a strong pungent smells. Some leaves, roots, seeds, and seed products need to be crushed, and this ancient traditional design is manual and most dependable. For this pungent smell, in order to increase its pungent functions, we need to crush it. Before we used to boil the soup, the utensil for preparing decoctions can be made of clay pots or glass, but you should not use copper or iron. For some herbs, they need to be decoded first. They're called the first medicine. For example, these seashells. In order to improve its functions, we need to boil for a longer time. For these aconites, when boiling for 15 to an hour, it can reduce its toxicity. So, whether or not to boil it first, you need to take the advice from your Chinese medicine practitioner. For some herbs, like this mint, in order to increase its pungent smells, we need to decoct it last. So you need to add these herbs to the decoctions at the last 5 minutes. This is called the last medicine. <laughs> 